Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of very bad current data coming out of the giant American economy. Firstly, there's been a stunning development in the US labour force. The new jobless claims level last week was a stunning 6.6 .6 million. That takes the March level of new claims for jobless benefits to a massive 10 million in just four weeks. Nothing like this has ever been seen before. In fact, in these four weeks, 6.9% of their employed workforce has applied for jobless relief. And it's likely to, that many haven't yet. A related job cut report also revealed a very dramatic surge in direct layoffs, but that ignores the furloughs announced, which were widespread. The American mortgage industry is bracing for as many as 15 million holders of, to stop making payments on their loans. The biggest wave of delinquencies ever. Falling mortgage interest rates mean nothing in a sector that's grinding to a halt. And the shutdown of global trade is about to hit the iron ore prices, according to a major producer. They've remained resilient for longer than many would have expected. The coming hit will be hard on both Australia and Brazil. But export bans, especially of food and medical supplies, are growing as many countries move to protect themselves. And the grain trade with China this year may be less than in past years, as China says it's having a bumper harvest. In Australia, the widely watched NAB Business Confidence Survey for March shows confidence collapse there. It will only get worse in April. Equity markets are drifting today, unsure of where the next policy bump might come from. US Treasury 10-year yield is lower today, down by two basis points to just under 0.62%. And gold is sharply higher today, up by $27 to $1,610 an ounce. US oil prices are sharply and unexpectedly higher as well, at just over $24.50 a barrel. That's a $4.50 rise. The Brent benchmark is also higher at just over $29.50 a barrel. The US president has managed to get the Russians and Saudis to agree on output cuts. How this helps the average American is unclear, but it may help their domestic oil companies and the Saudis and the Russians. The Kiwi dollar is lower by a quarter of a cent from this time yesterday at 59 US cents. On the cross rates, we're a little firmer at 97.7 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're also marginally firmer at 54.4 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is unchanged at 65.8. And we should also note that Moody's Credit Rating Agency has just reaffirmed New Zealand's AAA credit rating, the only one of the three to give us top billing. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.